Hi, first graders. Good morning. Today is Wednesday, May 13th, 2020. Today we will be working on our last phonics lesson for the school year. The phonics that we'll be working on today comes from Unit 5, Week 5. So yesterday and the day before, we were still in Unit 5, but we were working from Week 4. Today and tomorrow, we'll be working from Week 5. Let's go ahead and get our student interactive out so we can get started. We'll be working beginning on page 174 and we'll be ending our work today on page 180. So on page 174, I'm going to start with my segment and blend sounds activity. I'm going to say the name of these words and then I'll sound them out the way they should be sounded out. So I see a slide, slide, I hear that long I sound. I see a clown, clown. And I see a train, train, and I hear that long A sound in the word train. All right, we're going to talk today about open and closed syllables. An open syllable ends in a vowel. It usually has a long vowel sound. So for example, if you look at the my turn words below, here I see the word basic. When I sound it out, I say basic. And in that first syllable, B A ends in a vowel and it has the long A sound. So this is an example of an open syllable, bay, as in the word basic. A closed syllable is closed off by a consonant. The vowel sound is usually short. A word with one consonant between two vowels can be divided into syllables before or after the consonant. So in this example of a closed syllable comes from the word never. I can sound it out, nev, er. Nev, that first syllable, is a closed syllable because it's closed off by a consonant, the letter V. And the vowel sound, the sound from this first E, is the E eh sound, so it's the short E sound. Now, when I mentioned earlier that a word with one consonant between two vowels, they're talking right here about this V between both of the E's. The one consonant between two vowels, it could be divided into syllables before or after the consonant. So I could have said never, but what we chose to do here is to say never. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next page. We're gonna do some more practice with our open and closed syllables. I'll decode these words for you. You should practice them at some point today too. Silent, music, frozen, limit, lemon, travel. Now our job is to read each picture name and draw a line to divide each word into syllables. So I have the word pilot, pilot. You hear that long I sound. We know we need to separate um, the syllables after the long I. I have the word wagon. I don't hear a long A sound. I don't hear any long vowel sounds. Seven, I don't hear any long vowel sounds there either. And then I have the word tiger, tiger. I do hear the long vowel sound there. So I know that tiger needs to be partitioned a certain way. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold these words up for you. I have divided the words into syllables correctly. So you can either check your work or pause the video and write these words down just like I did. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen with you one more time. That way we can get back to what we were doing. And let's move on. So we're going to continue practicing with some open and closed syllables. We're going to use the words from the box to finish each sentence and then we'll read the sentence out loud. And then you're going to create your own sentence using one of the words from the box. The first one has been done for us. Go ahead and fill that word in, shadow. Robin makes a shadow on the wall. So now we're left with two words, the word silent and spider. Both of those words have that long I sound. We have that open syllable, sigh in silent, and spy in spider. Her arms make the shape of a, a silent or a spider? Only one of them is a noun, spider. So it should say her arms make the shape of a spider. The next sentence, we're only left with one word. The word is silent. Robin has fun with this silent game. I'm gonna go ahead and read these sentences to you with the words in them one more time and you can practice them at home as well. Robin makes a shadow on the wall. Her arms make the shape of a spider. Robin has fun with this silent game. All right, now it's your turn to write your own sentence down below using one of the words from the box. Use the word silent, 
spider or shadow to go above and beyond or push yourself a little bit. See if you can use two of the words. I know some of you could probably use all three of the words. You don't have to, but you can. Um, I know some of you like going above and beyond and doing that. So you're welcome to do it that way if you'd like to. All right, on this page, page 177, we're going to talk about manipulating sounds. And so this is kind of a fun page. For the C and say, we're told to say each sound as you name the pictures, then manipulate the sounds to make a new word. When you manipulate the sounds, you switch them around in a new order. Okay, you guys, so for example, here I see a net using the letters N-E-T with the sounds N, E, T. So I wanted to see if I could switch those sounds around to make a new word. I'll show you what that word is in a minute. This next picture, I see someone taking a step. We're going to use the word step, st, e, p, step. I wanna see if I can mix around those sounds, mix around those letters to make a new word. And in this last picture, I see a bus, b, us. So what I've done here, and I'm just gonna hold it up so you can see my words and the pictures still. I've turned net into 10. I'm still using those same sounds, but I've rearranged them, I've manipulated them. I'm turning step into pets. I've rearranged those letters, rearranged the sounds. And I've turned bus into sub. So it's kind of fun how you can manipulate words by manipulating their sounds and moving the letters around. Uh, we're now gonna talk about the vowel teams, OO and OU. The letters O-O and the letters O-U can make the vowel sound that you hear in the word moon. What sound do you hear? You hear the oo sound. So for example, in this word, this is the word room, I hear r-oom, room. This is the word you, I hear y-oo, you. Let's go ahead and move on. We're on page 178. And remember today, we're working all the way through page 180. So my words to know, these are the words you need to remember and practice. Warm, today, world, years, and should. Our job is to complete each sentence with a word from the box and then read the sentences. Let's go ahead and do this. Number one says today, fill today in. Today is a blank fall day. What do you think? Today is a warm fall day? Today is a world fall day, today is a year's fall day, or today is a should fall day. The only one that makes sense is warm. Today is a warm fall day. Number two, but it blank turn cold soon. What do you guys think? But it today turn cold soon, but it warm turn cold soon, but it world turn cold soon, but it years turn cold soon, or but it should turn cold soon. Should is the only one that makes sense, but it should turn cold soon. All right, number three, the blank might turn white with snow. What do you guys think? We've already used the word today, we've used the word warm, and we've used the word should. So we're left with world and years. It should be world. The world might turn white with snow. That means we're left with one word left. The cold lasts so long, some years. You should fill in number four with years. Okay, you guys, let's move on. We're on page 179. We are going to read these words. All of these words make the oo sound using o-o and o-u. Practice reading them to yourself at home too. Zoo, moose, tooth. I hear the oo sound when I read the letters O-O. U, soup, group. I hear the U sound when I read the letters O-U. Now you're going to say each picture's name and underline the word that names the picture. So for example, I see this picture, I read boot and I read bat. This is a picture of a boot, so I needed to underline the word boot. All right, I'm looking at the picture, I read pool, and I read pool. This is a pool, make sure you underline pool. I am looking at the next picture and I read stop and I read soup. This is a picture of soup. And remember, all of these pictures are representing words with the oo sound using OO or OU. So for example, boot, I see these, the OO. Bat doesn't have an OO or an OU. 
same with pool has OO, pool does not. Stop does not, but soup has OU. All right, moon for man. We know what this is, this is the moon. Make sure you underline moon. Okay, you guys, we have one more page and then we are finished with our work for today. It's more work with the vowel teams, OO and OU. Your job is to underline the words with the same vowel sound as moo. You know that sound, we've said it so many times today already, it's the oo sound. Okay, the first one has been done for you. It says, where did all of you go? Underline you. The next sentence says, our group went outside. I hear the oo sound in group made by this OU. Underline group. Okay, the next sentence. I hope Mike wore his boots. I hear oo made by the OO in boots. Underline the word boots. Our last sentence. Let's eat some food soon. You need to underline food and soon. I food and soon. They both make the oo sound using OO. Now your job is to write sentences with OO and OU words. You can write one sentence. Well, you know what, you guys, you need to write at least two sentences because it does say write sentences. Um, but you could write one sentence just using an OO word, your next sentence using an OU word. It's up to you. Like I said in our previous videos, if you can't think of any words, go back and look through the pages. We just talked about a lot of them. Please reach out to me if you need any help, and I will have one more video ready for you for tomorrow. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.